Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD, and this is part of the Buildopedia Room Recipe Guide, and this is the social recipe uh, or room recipes. And I'm gonna go through each one of them uh, one by one. And if you wanna like uh, skip to the one that you want, you can check the description. I'm gonna put uh, time steps, uh, time stamps on on the for all of the rooms. And if you wanna pause the video right now and do it by yourself, you can do that as well. So yeah, most of these rooms are simple, they are easy to do, they don't require that many things. Some of them require uh, specific items that you need to like find, fight some monsters to get them. But otherwise, most of these items are easy to get from the small islands and even you can make them from the workbench. So the first room that we have is the reception room. Uh, for this one we need two uh, tables, we need one stationery, we need one table, top light source, it can be uh, anything, a torch or anything just on the table and we need one uh, wall decorative item it can be anything as well and we have our uh, reception room this can be used if you have another room beside it with two beds you can have the hotel room next we have the hallway for the hallway we need two columns two ornamental flowers which you can make from the workbench and we need two light source these can be anything as well and we need two curtains they can be anything they can be decorative wall decoratives or any of the red cartons that, uh, that we have or that we can build from the workbench and next we have the pumping station for the pumping station we need two uh, dumbbells and we need two mining tools and we need two towels these towels can be anything and we will have our pumping uh, room and next we have the relaxation room this is a room that you have already built on the crumbledon island or we need a bed we need uh, a bed can be anything we need one folding uh, screen we need two curtains the curtains can be anything as well and we need one light source the light source can be anything of course uh, next we have the chapel the chapel for the chapel we need one goddess statue this is the the good chapel and we need to have one normal altar and four uh, chairs then we need to have two tabletop uh, light sources and we will have our chapel that's it simple as that you can assign uh, one of the nuns that you find on these small islands to these uh, rooms. A war room, a war room is easy to build. Just an uh, emblematic table with a map on it and two war game pieces. These red soldier-looking uh, uh, Lego type soldiers or, or like toys. And that's how we have the the war, war room. Uh, the wizard's workshop. You will build this on the Moonbrook Island. We need a wizard's workbench. We need a comfy cushion. We need an essence burner and we need uh, a crystal ball and we will have our wizard's workshop. That's as simple as that. The training room, we need to have two ornamental spears. We need to have four uh, wooden uh, fortification and four target uh, dummies. All of these can be made from the workbench. Simple as that. Just go and make them and come and build the room. Next, we have the throne room. For the throne room, we need to have one throne four bold banners and two braziers these need to be the normal braziers the gold braziers don't work so make sure that you are using the normal uh, braziers uh, the shabby throne we need to have only one disfigured throne which you can get from the the pink or the mer merking from the coral k island you will get uh, the disfigured throne from that it's a drop Next we have the chapel of the children. This is the unholy chapel. So we need one unholy altar. We need one false idol. We need the fiendish face. We need a citadel cross uh, crave, uh, carving and a citadel creature carving as well as one of the sinister light which is the blue light. And we will have our chapel of the children a room. It might take some time for it to recognize it as a room but yeah that's, that's how we do it. For the summoning chamber we need to have one uh, forbidden altar one chest the chest can be anything one false idol two peculiar pillars that i'm using now uh, one uh, unholy altar and one sinister scone which is the blue uh, flame so that's the only difference from the from the uh, the room that we built uh, before the chapel of the children and you will have our uh, summoning chamber simple as that uh, creepy conservatory this is uh, an, a room that you will make on the final island uh, and it's easy all of the flowers can be found on the unholy uh, home, uh, small islands, one chest, two blooming poxglove and four budding poxglove and that's it. Next we have the study room. For here we need three bookcases and three reading material. It can be anything, the bibliophile or just the normal books and it will work the study room. So three of each. 
And next, finally, we have the library. For the library, we need five bookcases. We need to have now, we need to have three bibliophiles, which are, which are these, and three reading materials, which can be anything. These red uh, books, the world work, we need three of them. So just put a table, and we need a chair and a note. So yeah, now the three books. So that's it. This is our library with three books, three bibliophile, five bookcases, one table, one note, and one chair. That's it, guys. That's for the social uh, room recipes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Check out our Patreon page, guys. Thanks for the support. We appreciate everything. And stay awesome, guys.